Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, thanks to my shout, we have a wonderful update, an aerial update from Toontown. That's right, Toontown is progressing very nicely. It's going to open up in the spring of 2023, while Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is going to open in, on January 27th, 2023, just in a couple of months. That's where to go. The land itself is going to take a little bit longer. As you see, most of it is dirt. But what's not dirt is the pathway, the eventual pathway to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. The land um, and the entrance to the land looks fantastic and newly paved. Again, all they need is that pathway basically open and the obviously the exit, the exit store gift shop, gift shop basically open for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway to open up on January 27th. The ride is over 90% done, so it's looking fantastic. Moving on to the rest of the land, though, and here's a shot of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. This is, you can see the path, if the paved path quickly ends, and a dirt reforms as there's, like, trenches, probably for maybe some electrical or piping work going on there. But the El Capitoon Theater looks absolutely gorgeous and is completely done and welcome to ready guests i'm excited to see our new scenes for the attraction plus our brand new queue layout that we'll have uh, that'll be a 100 percent different than florida's version which is pretty cool uh again this is kind of the center of the land right here and a lot of it is under construction a lot of pits a lot of stuff being uh dug up torn up and uh for the centennial park i think that large pit over there might be for the tree um that will be erected that will have the winding path around it and there's goofy's uh, house over there <laughs> moving over to the new chippendale rescue rangers themed coaster um you can see it's didn't change color it is still painted red just then got a repaint which is quite nice and didn't change too much thematically. Um, I wonder if it will change much thematically. I mean, it's gadget was as part of the rescue or part of Chip and Dale. Now, the coaster itself is just themed to all of Chip and Dale. So maybe some new characters or so that might be the last thing to be put in. But I'm excited to ride this coaster again, and I'm excited to uh, it for it to be open for everybody. Moving on to Donald's Boat, or what was formerly Donald's Boat, and still Donald's Boat, but you can see it is stripped down to the bones. It is a mere skeleton. You can see the exposed steel right there as they completely torn up the boat and at the bottom of the boat. We'll have new interactive experiences when it reopens, and they're installing those right now. Next to it is Goofy's house, which looks exactly the same. They, I don't even, I'm surprised... Uh, I'd be surprised if they even touched it, which I, I'm sure they did probably give it a nice little paint job. They probably will give it a paint job at the end because, you know, all the dust from the surrounding construction will be getting on the roof and they'll just want to polish it up a little bit. But yeah, this whole area will be nice and will feature more interactivity, kind of back to what Toontown was all about when it opened in the 90s. Had a lot more interactivity than it does now, and I'm glad to see Disney bringing that back in a way they can't get sued, which is awesome. Or at least likely to get sued. Speaking of interactivity, this whole area right here, next to the Centennial Park and behind, uh, or next to Goofy's house here, will be a whole interactive play area for children. And there will be bridges and a ramp, that, that, that semi-trench that is being built there. That's where that ramp is going to go to lead up to those interactive areas. Should be great. In an area where, there, again, there wasn't too much interactivity before. I believe this was the garden area. You can correct me down below. But I believe, I believe this was just where the garden was at. Uh, not too much happening there. But now there'll be games, interactivity, things to touch, things to shoot. Uh, like buttons to press. And I'm sure stuff will happen. Which is great. It'll be or activate this area. And yeah, Disney's really using every square inch of this new land with this re renovation. And it's really uh, propping it back up. Roger Rabbit is uh, expected to stay the same, probably with the new trench coat storyline for Jessica Rabbit. But yeah, other than that, the land looks great. I'm very excited to ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway on January 27th. Will you be there? I already have my reservation. Are you going to guys 
going to go opening day or opening weekend, or you're going to wait a little bit. I'm sure the ride will use a virtual queue when it reopens, uh, and you can get that at probably at 7 a.m. and noon, but you don't have to be in the park to get it, which is amazing. What do you guys think of the new land? Comment down below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. If you like this video, press that thumbs up button. And also, it's the holiday season and here in California, or at least Southern California. It is cold. It's currently like 50-something degrees outside, which is cold for us. I have been wearing a jacket all day long. It was 43 degrees this morning, which is very cold for us. So, it's time to get some new jackets and sweatshirts. So, definitely go check out the new holiday merchandise I have on my website, on my shop, Theme Park Wizard. Dot shop. There's a 20% discount if you put in I love TPW and you get 20% off all the merchandise in there. We got we have some new mugs, sweatshirts, shirts, everything. And you can find that going to themeparkwizard.shop. It's in the description below and also on the merch shelf. So definitely go check out those lovely items if you want to uh, start preparing your holiday gifts. Other than that, have a fantastic day.